Spinal cord injury awareness isn't just important in our sports and social activities. It is also important when we engage in work experience or enter the workforce. Employers strive to maintain a safe and happy workplace for their workers. But it is everyone's responsibility to adhere to work health and safety legislation and workplace policies to ensure their own and other people's safety. There is a safe way to complete any task an employer might give you. Unlike the decision made here, it is essential that safe work practices are followed at all times. When the spine contacts the desk, the vertebrae can break or be knocked out of alignment, crushing the delicate spinal cord inside. The spine is vulnerable, as you saw earlier. An injury at this point can result in the person becoming a paraplegic. This means paralysed from the waist down. Once a person is injured, how you deal with them is most important. People with slight injuries have ended up with serious injuries due to mishandling. Never try to move someone if there is any suspicion of serious injury. If you are unsure of the extent of the injury, it is important to support the head and neck and wait for professional help to arrive. Serious injury can occur from all sorts of office activities. From simple scenarios like pulling objects from shelves, falls from heights, leaning back on chairs, or even unloading heavy objects. There are safety policies for a reason. It is all of our responsibilities to adhere to them. Safety matters. In Australia, each year, 400 young people get spinal injuries due to accidents, giving them a permanent handicap. Imagine if you were paralysed from the waist down and not able to walk ever again.